Hey guys, long time no see. You wanna say hi? You wanna say hi? I haven't vlogged in ages and let me tell you why. I actually, I have no idea when I'm gonna upload this because I actually have a couple of vlogs filmed and most of them edited to upload but they are in my external disk and my external disk is not working and it hasn't been working for a long time so I need to get it fixed and hopefully recover everything from my life basically in one of those vlogs explains why I'm in this place because we moved from London to Coventry if I can recover everything from my external disk uh, I will post this video only after I post the moving vlog for this house I haven't filmed much because Initially, this house seemed very nice. We moved during the summertime, not by choice, to be honest. Uh, our landlord at the time said we had two months to leave because he wanted to sell the property. And the two months two months would basically, basically finish when Simon had the surgery. So we had to move before that. And we decided to come here because it was cheaper at the time and we could afford it straight away. It's been like a little over six months since we moved here and Simon already had the surgery. He's fine and everything. But this house is actually terrible <laughs> and we keep having too many issues. We don't have a good relationship with the landlord. It's the, it's the typical landlord who wants us to do free work, to free everything, but doesn't actually want to do her job, which is fixing basic things. So, for example, we were six months without lights in the kitchen at all. Like, it was always dark. Uh, we had incredible amount of mold in our bedroom. Again... If I can recover everything from the external disk, I'll put a picture um, around like here to show you guys how was like the mold situation. If I can't find, uh, you know, if my external disk is completely gone, you know, it's gone. I really hope not because it literally has all my life in there. Videos, pictures, schoolwork, uh, college, everything from Simon since he was born. And I would be devastated if I lose everything because it literally has everything. All my memories, everything. I'm starting this vlog today. And I, and the reason why I haven't vlogged basically since I moved is because I feel so low and depressed in this house. It's absolutely freezing all the time. It's extremely dark. To me, it does not feel like a home at all. It just feels like a, you know, it's a place I pay rent. It, it doesn't feel like home. And I can't believe I actually am about to say this, but I've been missing my apartment in London quite a lot. And we actually miss living in Kingston a lot. Maybe one day we can go back, but I'm not sure. Right now, our contract in this house is supposed to be 12 months. But since we've had so many issues and us and the landlord cannot get along for the life of us, we've tried, but she's incredibly rude and mean. We decided like, no, we need to move. Um, and we need to move ASAP because this is no life for us and for little kid and we are in the process of trying to get a new house so today i'm going to get a phone call to actually see if i can pay for the holding deposit of this property in kenilworth that's what we are trying to move to it is it's the house itself it's a nice house it is much smaller than this one but it seems like it's in much better conditions so i would rather have a smaller house but good conditions than living here we honestly didn't really want to move out until we could afford to buy our own place but this home is just terrible, so we have no choice but to move. But yeah, because we are kind of tired of moving, move. Uh, Simon, we are tired of moving, 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 moving. Hey, do you want to say hi? Yes? Do you want to say, I can walk now? Yes, and run. And I can already say a few words very randomly, but I can. So I'm trying to film like another moving vlog, literally like from one moving vlog to another. But honestly, I haven't want to, I, I haven't really filmed anything in this house since I moved because I just feel so damn low and tired and sick. Many times I've been sick here because of mold situation and cold problems and this house has absolutely no insulation whatsoever and the neighborhood is not that nice uh, there's a bit there's a bit of dodgy people living around here and it's just not the place we want you know our family to be so i'm starting this vlog basically to hope hopefully this vlog is a, it's a positive one in terms of moving like if i post this video it means that we successfully moved to a new place hopefully in a couple of weeks we can move out of this place and start a new chapter again <laughs> but yeah i've been like since i moved from london i've been very very low yes i moved closer to my cousin but obviously she has a life and she knows people i feel like i'm more lonely now than i was in Lo in london 
because basically yeah i my actually next door neighbors from both sides they are actually really really nice but it's not enough for us to want to stay basically uh, this house is terrible basically hopefully on my next clip i have more news regarding this and actually next month my mom is coming to visit to you know help us out and so yeah my mom is coming next month she doesn't stay she's not going to stay for a full week but it's going to be enough for us to now get some nights of sleep and sh hopefully when she comes she was going to be helping me pack everything for the next move if everything goes well he's starting his toddler face where he throws tantrums for no reason what is it with kids and remotes honestly <laughs> look at your face like yeah that's what i wanted that's what i wanted i see on my next clip whenever it is hey guys different day different update uh, i know i look amazing there's no need to comment on that. Still not throwing the fireworks before the party, as we say in Portugal. But we've started the application process. We just filled like the full application for the references and stuff. So now it's that. I'm a bit concerned about the references from this house because of our landlord and lady. If you can call that person a lady. So that's the next phase. And I have no idea how much of a wall we can have with the agency and the landlady from this house, but we'll see. Hopefully things will go okay. Just been here for quite some time, glued to my computer and my phone and my and the iPad, basically I try to get all this info. But yeah, since today it's it's Saturday. It's it's the weekend. So we won't really have I don't think we're gonna have an, any sort of answers until Monday. Uh it's Saturday the twenty fifth of February. So we'll see. We'll see what happens from here. Right, Baba. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Yeah. I'll update you guys on, on updates, basically. You haven't seen her in a long time. Morena, say hi. Can you say hi? Okay. <laughs> you like the attention. I'll see you later. Hey, guys. Many days. Well, a couple of days later. I know, I still look amazing. They just asked like copies of our contracts and things like that. But I think the references for work are done. But regarding the um, rental references, now the landlord, uh, even though we had a conversation about this, because our landlord gave us such a horrible reference, they put our application basically on hold. And for days and days and days, I had to chase up my landlord to basically um, not only correct those um, references, because I could prove that whatever she wrote on the initial references was a lie because I did make a deal with her even though she doesn't deserve it. But yeah, so basically what she, basically that she gave us horrible references on purpose to screw our chances of getting the other house, but she still, so she wanted to screw us over to not get the house, but wanted us to move out and pay her. You can tell this is the kind of person that she's lovely. But yesterday was the last day for her to basically be able to correct her references and I basically had to tell her very directly like look you put us in this position you need to fix it if you want if you indeed hate us this much and you want us out just like we want to get out you need to fix this otherwise we are all stuck with each other and I don't think you want that neither do we and during the weekend she said oh on Monday I will call them um, in the morning she didn't I had to chase this her up as usual and literally on the phone, she was like, yeah, yeah, I'll call them now, but when do you pay me? Like, with this tone. I can't believe that people like this exist. Like, she's so awful. <laughs> like, she's an horrible human being. It's like horrendous. Even though I really wanted to tell her to F off, I had to keep my calm. Because if she would take us to court, unfortunately, the law here uh, protects the landlords. It doesn't really protect the tenants. So we would be forced to basically pay a lot more. But actually, it's what she wanted, but I was like, nah, nah, we're not going to do that. <laughs> But basically, the agency of the house that we are trying to get to said that we would get a, a final reply today saying that we, like, either our references, all of them got accepted or not. And if they didn't get accepted, we lose the house. And if they do get accepted, we can move on to pay for the deposit, rent, etc. and start packing our crap and leave. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Basically, today I have an answer of a yes or no. But this landlord in this house, on the one we are at the moment, keeps like bothering me. Like, can you take pictures of the house? Can you do this? Can you do that? And I'm like, dude, I don't even know if I get the other house or not because of you. So if we don't get it, we, you don't get rid of us yet. Basically, it's like, it's that simple. I've been very stressed and I can't get stressed. That's what's going on. I hate where we live right now. 
I actually do. To the point that, well, I have corrupted footage on my external disk from videos that I wanted to upload, basically, until we moved here, including the move here. But I haven't uploaded them because it's in the external disk who got that got corrupted and it's not working. Even if I had posted those videos, since I moved here, I have not filmed anything in this house. I have not vlogged. I have not made sit-down videos, like nothing. Because this, I hate being here. I just hate it. This place makes us actually sick, like physically sick. And I'm trying to force myself to go back into like, try to nourish my body, but this house just makes me feel so low. And because it's so bloody cold, there are things that I usually eat that I don't feel like eating at all here, like Buddha balls or yogurt, go, yogurt balls, because it's cold. And I don't feel like eating cold things in a place that it's so bloody cold. I think that one of the few good things that happened while we moved here, well, might as well just put that in this video, <laughs> is that we got a car. Now we do have a car, which is really cool. But here, basically, we just yeah, which basically just use it for Carlos to go to work and to like go grocery shopping because here there's like there's nothing to do basically. Yes, there is greenery, but for example, right be right behind us we do have a field, but it is not taken care of whatsoever. People take their dogs there, they poop everywhere, they don't pick up their poops. It's not like a nice place I want to take, for example, Simon or the family. We are in the well, this is England that has nothing to do with us being here, but the weather is crap. <laughs> Uh, basically all the time so we we tr we want to like go for actual nice walks like the whole family so we like we take the car and go somewhere nice but it's always raining so like Morena doesn't want to go out and we don't want to go out it's Simon being sick all the time because of the condition of this home which the landlord refuses to accept that that's true when he's for example right now he's still very sick and um I don't feel comfortable leaving the house because he can get worse, basically. I'll keep you updated to let you know if I got this house or not. If I'm back to square zero, I'll keep you up updated. I'll see you on my next clip whenever it is. Hey guys, a couple of days later. News, um, she ended up correcting the references. And now we have signed the contract. Today it's a Sunday. The, si the contract is signed, but obviously we won't get a reply until like tomorrow, Monday. Basically, we are supposed to move next Saturday, the 18th. Um, tomorrow, we'll probably get confirmation that they received the contract. And all that it's missing is them giving us the details for us to pay for the deposit in the first month of rent. And now I'm already packing things. I'm st I've already started packing. Can't wait to get out of this place. Like, honestly, less than a week. I'm like, I'm, the days feel like they are going so slowly because... You know, I really want to get out of here. Be, be the next weekend, please. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me show you the state of the house. So all of these, hey, Lois, hey, me. Uh, all of these big suitcases and that one is literally just books and like folders and things like that. Then there's a small carry-on bag that it has most of, you know, uh, uh, quite a lot of fragiles and things like that, like my Harry Potter collection and things like that. This one too, uh, well, I don't want to open it yet because I'm just filling with like soft things so it kind of protects it. Today's goal, I want to pack all the the rest of like the knickknacks from the bookshelves uh, down here. And there's only a couple of things upstairs in Simon's bedroom because most of it was basically books and things like that. So I want to do knickknacks today and also I already emptied this, but everything is like here. So I want to basically deal with this, like the knickknacks. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the knickknacks in the bedroom there on top of one of the chest of drawers. Because obviously we still have to eat and take showers and things like that. But I just want to leave the essentials out. And we still don't know how we're going to do regarding the actual move. If we're going to rent a van or something. We don't know yet. We need to, we actually need to really plan that like soon. <laughs> this is the update. I've learned that like I am excited but I will only believe it when I've got the key in my hand basically. Uh, after everything like I just became that person after a lot of things that happened to me. I'll keep you updated. So much space that Simon can be during this move. You think he's here? No. There. No. But you like to be there. <laughs> I 
Hey guys, a couple days later, I actually don't remember when was the last time I filmed. I think I told you guys that we signed a contract. We got confirmation that tomorrow they're going to be taking the, um, the payment for the deposit and the first month of rent. So uh, that's like that. And they already booked us on Saturday morning at 10.15 to collect the keys. So from that day, we can, from that time, we can um, start the move basically and i've been packing basically all of our house slowly because i want to be stressed about that but i haven't really filmed me packing things because honestly i just want to get it done and i as i told you guys before i don't have any motivation for anything in this house and even filming like yes i am documenting this but um i'm just like this house just kills my vibe basically but i'm going to show you how things are at the moment unpacked so i just uh started packing like simon's bedroom i undid the crib we are not going to do un un undo this but we're just well we're going to empty it basically so it's lighter but i'm not going to do that today this is full of stuff because i just finished emptying the entire bookshelf that we put this one in Simon's bedroom. In the new house, I think he has to go to the living room again uh, because um, the small bedroom is too small for it. Um, but yeah, this, we have to undo it as well. And yeah, so I think today that's the goal. Well, I've, I did this today. This was quite easy and, and, and quick, but for this one, I need uh, Carlos to help me because it's a bit heavy here in the bedroom the only thing i did like i emptied the top of it we still have these two back backpacks that we're going to probably use for cl clothing this is actually like empty only this shelf has a few things and this uh chest of drawers i think it will go to simon's bedroom in the new house because uh, it's the only place i can actually think that it will fit but the rest of the bedroom there's not, not that not that much done like all of these uh, are still full of things and i think tomorrow I'm gonna tackle the clothes here and in the chest of drawers in the bedroom and maybe shoes i'm not sure because friday i want to tackle the kitchen uh which is going to be like the it has the most most things and obviously like we are still eating and everything in the bathroom is almost empty but it still has the things that we use on a daily basis but i have to remove um the things that are in the shower, let me show you. So the things for the toilet that we still keep here and, and, and this. The uh, soap dispenser and the things I'm talking about, it's this. It's like stuck uh, with adhesives to the wall. I am going to take these. Uh, I'm not leaving anything for this landlord. And I'm just going to get new adhesives for the new place. These are the things that we still have here that like we use on a daily basis. So that's why it's still here. We also still have here the towels, obviously, because we're going to shower. The living room at the moment is the one that's like chaotic because it has a lot of packed stuff already. Uh, but I'm going to show you very quickly. So, yeah, there's a lot. And actually, I just had a conversation with Carlos and I won't be needing to empty the drawers because we'll just remove them and put them in the car and like take the, the furniture empty, like without the actual drawers. Less work. Yay. So basically all that's left, it's mainly the kitchen and underneath the stairs. And I do need to give a bit of a clean at the garden because, you know, Marina's So I just want to clean a bit of that. Well, I don't want to, but I will. But I will do that maybe tomorrow, I think. Yeah, that's it. Hey guys, it's the day before the move. Which I'm, I know I don't look like it, but I'm actually very excited. Sorry. I'm very excited. I'm just really, really, really tired. Uh, so I just packed, well, not all of the kitchen, most of it. Because I basically have no more bags to pack anything else. So what we are going to do, we are going to empty a few things in the new house. And then use those bags. Um suitcases etc and then use them here to pack the remaining of the things but let me show you the kitchen so i managed to do quite a lot so this is all like done 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 then these bags are here done this is all done so so these shelves here here that one these ones well technically those and most of those 
and this top oh, this top shelf one is empty but this one is still full of things this is still full of things and also the sink we have basically all of our cleaning supplies here so yeah that's that so what we are going to do is basically use um take these things to the new house empty a few bags and suitcases and then use them to fill up with the rest of the things of the kitchen because we don't have any more um and i'm not sure if we're going to be able to do a full move tomorrow that's the call but we'll see otherwise we'll have to finish on sunday uh which and it's annoying but it is what it is but we will see what happens um and also today i cleared the garden with um what in this, you know, <laughs> just cleaned the entire thing and prepared and left everything ready in the shed in the corner so that Carlos can just put in the van truck. I don't know what's gonna happen. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna see you like, guys tomorrow, might be the new house. Hopefully, like the goal is to do everything in one day, but we'll see. This is the update and I'll see you guys on my next clip. Hey guys, long time no see. I've got way too many updates to give you. So we moved. We actually moved house. Yay! So the house is beautiful. But honestly, I actually didn't film like any of the move to the new place because I just wanted to get it done. I will show you a video like now of the house now. So when you walk through the door, uh, you see on one side all the leashes and jackets and Marina's coat as well and then on the other side we've got a few more bits and bobs for Marina also some shopping bags and some wellies and our house keys and then when you look through here this corridor here on the right hand side we've got the stairs to the upper floor and towards the front we've got a few rooms that I'll tell you about later on this side, we've got this cupboard here that's basically full of shoes. Uh, hello, Marina. Uh, but basically has most of my shoes, not all of them. The rest of them are in our bedroom and Carlos' shoes are in the bedroom as well. And then on the left side here, it's our cozy little kitchen that I absolutely adore it. Honestly, it's so much better than our previous one. It is small. I'm not going to lie. It is quite small. But it does have a lot of storage for a kitchen in, in England, to be honest. Um, I think this is the nicest kitchen I've had. And um, you see all these cupboards and everything. And here, this is the fridge and freezer that's incorporated in the kitchen. So we sold ours. And we finally have an oven that works because our previous house was terrible. Now going through this door here, it's our living room and also has access to the garden. So you see, it's quite a cozy living room. We've got our bookshelf here and a few paintings. We are now trying to put a bit more, you know, life in the house. Hello, little Simon. You're coming to say hi to everyone. Hello. You're so cute. But yeah, as I was saying, there's, uh, you know, a lot of blank walls. And this is our dining table, which is basically our desk. And... You know, this buggy here, we are going to sell it. It's our old one and we got a new one. And right behind the door, there is a space here for storage that we tidied up. We've got our new buggy there, a few other bits and bobs and like cleaning supplies and things like that. And within this food as well, it's quite a nice place to store things. Now going through the garden door, this is our garden. We've got this really nice kind of like deck area. And then the upper part of um, the backyard is basically the actual garden. If you walk through here on the left side, we have basically a corridor that gets into outside of the property. And then on the right side, we've got a few stairs that go to the garden and our shed at the back, which we also use it for storage. Now going through the stairs, we are walking to the upper floor. When you get upstairs, you this is the view that you see. On the left-hand side, it's the main bedroom. It's mine and Carlos. And our big bed fits, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, we do have quite a lot of space and there's two wardrobes incorporated, which is amazing. Just ignore those pieces of clothing at the top because they were just still drying and I was going to wear them that day. 
but this room also has a full-length mirror which is really really great and there's a lot of lighting in the entire house which is fantastic for for everything and also filming <laughs> in the corridor we've got this like kind of cupboard situation which we also use it for storage so it's quite good for an english home in terms of storage and then this room is simon's bedroom as you can tell probably but we are also kind of using it for drying our clothes um but yeah we've been using quite well the space and reused things that we used differently in the previous house and i do love the the light that the entire house has and this is the view from his bedroom to the backyard which is quite nice And lastly, going through this door, we've got our bathroom, which is very nice. And also there's a lot of light. Ignore those shoes. They were drying from a very muddy walk that we had as a family. Uh, but as you can see on this side, we've got this towel rack thing that it heats up the towels, which is nice and some storage. And on this side, we've got the toilet. We also have another full length mirror and ignore the laundry basket. It's quite full. And this is our beautiful shower, which is quite big and it's lovely. And yeah, we don't have a bath in this house, but still we do have, you know, our shelves that we used from the previous house. And I really like it and it's very spacious. So yeah, guys, we finally moved. I'm still, it's actually been quite a few, like days after the move uh my mom in the meantime has come and visited me as well she already left so right now this is us getting used to the new place i hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a like if you did and hopefully in this new place i will be motivated to film more because our previous place i was just so unhappy so unhappy but yeah guys uh thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye